It just came in the Indianapolis Colts dismissed their offensive coordinator, Marcus Brady. So they make a quarterback change last week, benching Matt Ryan. And today they dismissed their offensive coordinator, Marcus Brady, who at one point in time was considered a rising assistant coach in the league with a chance to continue to climb the coaching ladder. And yet today he's out as the Colts offensive coordinator, which we're typically in November now, and this is the time where teams start to make coaching changes. Yesterday, the Lions dismissed their defensive backs coach. Today, the Colts changed their offensive coordinator. There'll be more changes ahead, I'm sure. Real quick, Adam, before I come back to you, I do have Jeff Saturday here with me. Jeff, obviously your former team. Anything you want to say on the Colts? I'm surprised by it, right? I mean, you change quarterbacks a weekend, and then, you know, it's not not like the offense did much worse. I I was shocked to hear that they uh, dismissed Brady. All right. Uh, We'll keep it going here. Adam, what else are you hearing with the trade deadline approaching? Well, Molly, I think the name to watch today is Bradley Chubb, the Denver Broncos linebacker. I think it's a situation where basically Denver has to decide whether it should trade Bradley Chubb for a package that I think will include a first-round draft pick or whether the Broncos want to hold on to him and try to sign him to a long-term extension. But Bradley Chubb is in line for a new deal, whether it's in Denver or with the team he's traded for. But the question is whether Denver will be willing to trade Bradley Chubb today. They've had conversations with teams, and again, we'll see His name, I think, is the biggest name that could be sent packing today, although there are other names out there. The Colts have gotten inquiries on their running back, Naheem Hines. The Rams would trade Cam Akers. The Browns would trade Kareem Hunt. A lot of running backs. The 49ers would trade Jeff Wilson. I don't know how much movement you'll expect. Again, let's keep in mind here also, Molly, that over the last week, there have been five deals already, which is quite a lot leading into the trade deadline today at 4 Eastern. My guess is we'll get a deal or two today, maybe not much more. That's typical of what's gone on in recent years. But Bradley Chubb is the biggest name that's out there right now. All right. Adam, thank you so much for the time. Appreciate it. And I know you will be all over it all day long. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.